them out here at Pioneer Park. Um, I was out here a couple weeks ago and I didn't even think there was any bass in here, but uh, I had a hook up off the uh, good old bluegill paddle toe. It's what's been working for me this spring, even though I was out at Lake Pleasant yesterday and I couldn't get anything. Um, I'm just out here again trying it. I'll try to get a catch on camera. If not, at least film uh, you know, whatever, whatever I catch if I do. I hope so. I don't see a lot of people catch fish out here. The water's really stained. It's like a white color. It'd be hard to believe that fish can even live in here. But uh, when I was out here uh, a couple weekends ago, I you know, had a hookup and that was a big surprise to me. So I'm out here today trying to catch a largemouth bass and we'll see if we can land one. carp fishermen I see a lot of carp like fighting or they're swishing around on the edge of the lake Putting some uh, bait mate max on. I got this at Walmart. I just wanted to try it out. I've never tried scents before. So I have no idea if they work. I have caught fish while using it. I don't know if it was a lure or if it was a bait scent that attracted them to it. So I can't really tell you for sure. Finally freaking caught one. Large mouth bass do exist in this pond. Look at that. It's not that big, but uh, you know, a fish is a fish. Cut it off the bluegill paddle tail. Nice man. So bass do exist in Pioneer or Roadrunner Park. Sweet. Nice little fish. Thank <laughs> you. 